Yeah, this is a little unsportsmanlike, but that moose is going to give us some really good stuff. So, you know, screw sportsmanlike. <laughs> I know I'm a terrible person. To subsistence, I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to make ourselves a double-barreled shotgun. Yes, we are. All right, so uh, we have all the power and mass we need for that. We need five ingots, five boards, and 20 weapon parts. Also, uh, as you can see, I have almost two completely full stacks of wood, which is beautiful. Um, I'm going to actually convert m pretty much all of these into planks, but I just wanted to show you that uh, we are actually starting to get a little bit of surplus of stuff which is just amazing so uh, we have almost three full stacks of cordage we have over a full stack of scrap metal over a full stack of uh, electronic components and yeah we're doing good uh, looks like we're gonna need to make three ingots first uh, so to do that we are gonna need uh, iron 30 iron and 15 copper okay uh, all right, so yeah, let's get started uh, making a shit ton of these because we're going to do some building today. That is the plan anyway. And we have 80 some odd nails too, so let's just make boards like there's no tomorrow. All right, we'll put this extra piece of wood in there. And okay, so we are going to need... That's going to take 30 mass away, which should be fine. Yeah. And we have plenty of power. All right, so let's craft three of those. We just need 200 mass and 2,000 power to make the shotgun. All right, so what else are we going to need? 20 weapons parts, and we're making the boards now. All right, so let's split these in half, and then split those in half, and then one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Uh, we have done, you know, the usual skirmishing with the hunters, uh, but they are... Oh, there's a crate out there to check them. There might be one more out there. There was a couple that came in and messed around at night, but it was so damn dark, I just couldn't see very well. <gasps> Excuse me. Good. Zoom tight. Okay. Um, I, and I think they might have hit the house once or twice, but I don't see anything that looks severely damaged, so I think we're in good shape. All right, uh, these are just about done. In fact, it looks like three of them are. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll just let that go. I got a bunch of raw meat in here that I need to cook up. In fact, speaking of meat, uh, let's eat all three of these fish fillets. And let's grab a couple tomatoes and a carrot. So, eat. Uh, oh, shit, that's not what I want to do. Well, I guess we got seed. <laughs> um... So let's eat a couple of tomatoes. Eat two. And how about an onion? Because I got tons of onion seeds and we're good. Okay. So that gets us in good shape there. We'll throw those seeds in here for now. Okay. So are you done? You are done. And we now have everything, ladies and gentlemen. To make the double barrel shotgun let's do it a powerful shotgun with a slow reload all right there she goes and now i got a full fuel tank here so let's turn this guy on and start building our power back up uh the next thing we're gonna be well we got to make another lock pick um uh, by the way i did get another lock crate here's the crate here Yep, so we got that stuff. Um, so yeah, we need to make another one of those. But then we're going to start looking at solar panels and wind turrets and, and making several of those so that we can start passively generating power beyond, you know, what this does by itself. Excuse me, without having to run this and this all the time because they're kind of expensive. This is expensive on fuel. This is expensive on power. All right, fantastic. Um, so, let's see. What are we going to do? Let's go out and grab that crate. Oh, look at this, baby. Woot! All right. There she is, man. Says it's a powerful shotgun. So, we can only assume that means more powerful than 
the pump. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit slower to reload, but that's that's what it says. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go into upgrade for a second. What are the upgrades on this? So just like with the rifle, more firepower upgrades. And oh, and you can increase the reload speed on this too, which would be really good. Okay, we will definitely be doing those things at some point. Um, let's let's put our pump shotgun there and then we'll admire that one for a while. This it served us well. It has served us well. We'll put the rifle in here. And so now we have a backup weapon, you know, if we if we ever need it, which we probably will at some point. Um, you know what we might do today too? Um I was thinking about maybe going and raiding one of the hunters, but we should really probably wait until they raid us first. Yeah, let's wait till they raid us first. Okay, so um yeah, let's put the those in their place. And I have a feeling like I'm forgetting something. Is everybody done here? I think so. Okay, let's pick the plants here. Oh, let's also turn this off. We don't need that running during the day. Even though it does provide a little more light, but that's okay. It's a moose! It's a level one moose who's caught in the thing. Yeah, this is a little unsportsmanlike, but that moose is going to give us some really good stuff. So, you know, screw sportsmanlike. <laughs> I know I'm a terrible person. <clears throat> All right. Slow down, Bullwinkle. This will be our first moose kill. There we go. Man, that guy's tough. Holy crap, Ola. He's got 15, 57 health points left. Should we go try out our double barrel on him? All right, there we go. Grab this crate. Look at this, man. Our first moose kill. Fantastic. Fantastic. We did it in a dastardly way, but hey, you know, this is subsistence. We got to take what we can get. What is that? Rack of ribs can be roasted in an oven or cut into steaks. Ooh. We got three fat, some sinew. Nice. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we keep that in the refrigerator? And when the time comes for us to make an oven. We'll roast it up and celebrate. Hot? Damn. Okay. Um, let's get this stuff in here. And the liver can go in there. That was fortuitous that that, uh, that moose came in like it, like it did. Um, not for it. For us, of course. <laughs> All right. So we're up to 15 sinew. We've got four antlers now. We have 35 cloth, which is pretty damn good. Um, this stuff goes in here. And, yeah, let's grab nails. We got 90 nails, and we have 67 planks at present, but, you know, we're still making a bunch of these. Let's grab a little bit of wood for the fires. Well, so much for our stack of 200 wood. <laughs> That's okay. It's there for us to use. It is there for us to use. I would have probably converted a lot of that to planks out in the field, but I don't know. I just wanted to see a full stack of wood for the very first time in the game. You know, it's, that's just what I wanted to do. And so we did. We better wash our hands. Let's drink, and then we're going to need to fill all of these guys back up. 
All right, now we need to replant that garden. So we got tomato seeds, one cotton seed and four tomato seeds. Those are the best. And then carrot seeds. Um, we have, we can do 10 things, right? Uh, no, no, we can only do eight. So what do we got here? So five, six, seven. And then I guess we'll do a potato seed. Okay, let's plant them up. Excellent. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. All right, so we got to go fill up our water. And you are working on... Do we have enough to do this? We need to wait for 75 mass. You know what we'll do? Let's turn that on. We'll go get water, and then we'll come back and turn it back off. Okay. That's crazy that we got that wolf. Oh, close the door. Not as critical that we close the door now, but we're going to do it anyway because it's a good habit to get into. Oh, I killed the guy up here last night, and I never got the stuff because it was so dark. I actually went up to get it. Oh, wait, did I get it? Oh, maybe I did get it. Okay. Um, but someone else was shooting at me, and I couldn't see him, so I said, ah, screw it. Yeah, I must have got it. Okay. Or either that or it despawned. I don't know how long those uh, bags last. There's a blueberry plant. All right, we got a bar down there, so we got to be careful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if... Uh, there are any hunters down on the shore? I don't think so. We just lost a couple of ores, but then a new one came in, so we might as well grab that too. I need to make a new uh, bandage. Okay, let's fill everything up here. And take a quick dip for kelp, clamshells, and sandstone. Yeah, we're going to attack those guys soon. Um, we'll probably wait till they come after us again. And then we'll go after them. Has to be a night attack, though, or an early morning attack. Because we need to give ourselves plenty of time to get in there. Now, I have the the means to make grenades now, but I think I'm still just going to keep doing the pick thing. It takes It's a pain in the ass for me. It doesn't matter to you guys because I always cut that out anyway. It's just so much cheaper. At, you know, at some point we will do grenades, but we're still not at the point yet where we can do that. Yep, there's a guy right up there. Can he shoot us, at us in the water? I don't know. He's probably from the big camp. I don't really want to mess with those guys for a bit. So let's get over. Um, oh, shit. We need air. Let's just see what the deal is. I saw him walking up to the shore when I was submerged. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, he's not aggro on us. Let's just leave him alone because, again, he's from the big the big boys' camp. Okay, let's grab a little more kelp, and then we have some sandstone down here. Nice. There's a bunny. Oh, and another crate. Okay, looks like we're under attack. Let's grab this quick. And get... Run. Sometimes when I start sprinting, my guy like, just acts like he's dragging his feet. I don't know what the deal is with that. Alright, where's the attack coming from? Hmm, I don't know. I want, maybe they weren't shooting at me. Maybe they were shooting at an animal. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. 
turn you off. So that gives us quite a, a decent amount of mass for now. And now we just have to build our power back up so we can make our next um, thing of there. Thing of Madoodle. Okay, so we have 96 nails, 99 planks. So we're going to be able to do a little bit of building today. I'm stoked for that, man. I'm really stoked for that. Let's just put that in there. Okay, so um, we're going to also need some cordage. So let's grab that. I'm just... Um, see, the thing is, is our defenses are working as they are. I mean, I still want to put wall, and I still will put walls up there and up there. But at present... They're working pretty damn good, to be, you know, to be honest. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might want to work on the base now. I had talked about putting just putting stuff out here since we have the walls up, but, you know, because they still like the lob grenades and molotovs and stuff into the yard here, I think we're going to go back to our original plan where we were going to build up higher and have a ledge out here. So that is the plan. All right, so... With that in mind, uh, let's go in the house and we're going to, whoopsie, I'm going to take down these pieces here. Can I, there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's put them out outside. I'm I'm gonna go higher than this though, um, but I just I want to get them out of the way at the moment. Now take these stairs, and I want to put them like that. Okay. Now before we commit to anything. Okay, so we can come up here. The question is, how do we get up higher than this, though? Well, here, let's do this. Let's make ourselves a couple of normal walls. I'm going to make two of those for the moment. Because I'm just figuring this out as I go, you know? <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're figuring it out as we go. Okay, so let's take this wall. And I want to put it here. Like that. Right? Right. Let's take the other one. And put it right there. Okay. So, I think now what we want to do is we want to take this. And we're going to put it, oh, yeah, okay, that's what I want, except for I want to turn it this way. Okay, so if we had other stairs going up this, well, we have to, we need clearance for our head, though, is the thing. Yeah, we might need to make these stairs on the outside. Uh, another set of stairs on the outside. Okay. So, then that being the case, we want the stairs to go up that way and turn right. Uh, so we want these stairs here. 
Okay, so let's craft those. All right, well, that's that might be the best it's going to get. No, I can't I can't get over here. There we go. That's maybe the as good as it's going to get. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get over there though because it's because of this little cliff face. But yeah, I don't I don't think it's going to let me put it in any further than that. Seemed like it was actually a little bit better in the first setup that I had. All right, well, here, let's pull this up. And jump up here. Oh, shit. Oh. I thought I was going to fall all the way down. Come up here and rotate you like so. Now, what we're going to have to do here is I'm going to make the quarter thingamadoodle. And we're going to put that right in the corner so we don't accidentally step off the thing there. I'm wondering if I made some more ceilings so I could get further out just temporarily. So, yeah, let's take this and put it here, 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 it, <laughs> this is hard, man, try to get these damn things to go where you want them to go, okay, what if I pull it back like this, there we go, just like that, okay, good, good, that way we have, you know, have just a little thing here, and we're not going to just step out onto oblivion there. That time I just got up the ladder. Oh, actually, yeah, you, I just have to kind of turn the mouse to the left a little bit as I'm walking up there and then I can actually get on it. Okay, that works. So what if you can put rails on this thing? So we fell from this high, I'm sure we'd break our leg and that would suck. Okay, so that's good there. Um, I don't think we need this big piece here any longer um, as long as nobody on that side tries to lob grenades in here but I don't I haven't seen them to uh, you know be able to damage this side of the house since we set that up they can hit that corner from over there but we'll you know we'll deal with that later so what we're gonna do here is we're going to move this piece all right, and let's just put it uh, yeah, right there for the moment. That's just temporary. And then we're going to put another one of these these guys in here. Uh, in fact, let's do the, the little bit longer one so it covers all the way to the corner. It still provides a little bit of protection from anything coming in from the top, though I don't think that's actually going to happen. I'd be quite surprised if it did. Turn this way, and um, we're going to have to pull it back. Yeah, just like that. All right, cool. We'll just have to be really careful, you know, when we're coming up here. Um, I don't know if this game has SI or not. So, the other thing I was thinking, though, is there we still have this little bit of gap in here. And it would actually be better if we could get up here from the inside, I'm thinking, rather than this whole shenanigan thing here. Um, so we might want to explore that. To make that work, to make that work, 
why don't we come down here and pick this up. And I'm just going to put this somewhere else for the moment. Yeah, right there is good enough. Sure. Sure, you can go there. All right, let's make another one of these. Uh, oh, no, actually, we don't need that there if we're going to do this. Uh, what we want is... I need to go back up there. <laughs> Pick this up again. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely making this up as I go, if, if that wasn't already obvious as I'll get out. Alright, so just, yeah, you go back there for a second. We're going to try something different here. So let's get, let's pull you back down. It's going to be safer, you know, if we can make this work from the inside. Oh, I did it again. I pressed delete. Why do I do that? Ugh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've even been trying to drill it in my head. Don't press delete. Press end. Oh, man. I can't take me anywhere, you guys. Just impossible. Okay, press end. OG, end. All right. Let's just pop you right there for the minute, for the moment. All right, now, oh, cut it out. <laughs> All right, get up here and pull this thing back off. End, not delete. And just move you over here somewhere out of the way for now. He's almost out of fuel. How are we doing on power, though? Oh, it's building up nicely. Okay. Now, let's take this stairs end. <coughs> and put it somewhere out of the way. Okay, now, I'm going to put another full wall up there. So let's grab a full wall. Okay. So we'll go up there, and we'll just push it up this way. There we go. Okay, that worked. <clears throat> what we want to do is grab this guy now with end. <laughs> oh, geez. And we want to put it um, up here. Oh. What? It, it, it. All right. What did you just do? Yeah. That's, that's the idea. That is the idea. Okay. So now we have to get up to here. Um, I don't think the stairs will attach to each other, will they? Um, okay, we're going to need the stairs that goes this way. Yeah, so let's make one of those. Okay, there goes our Ginny. Is it because we're full of power or because we ran out of fuel? Because we ran out of fuel. Okay, that's all right. Okay, now, can I take this thing and attach it to that stair, like so? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to let me do that. Damn it, Jim. Okay. So that means, let's just put you there for the moment. I think we're going to need this piece. And we're going to need it to stick. Oh, we're under attack. Let's just kind of wait for a second and see what these bastards do. 
There's a crate out here. Can't quite get a headshot off on him right there. Oh shit, we're hungry. All right. Could shoot him in the legs or the nuts, but I really want to get a headshot. Well, unless we actually use this. Trying to get close enough to him to where I can use this. Oh, could have got a headshot off on him. Are you guys leaving? It'll be a lot easier to fight them when we actually get walls up. All right, let's look at our foundations. That one took a little bit of damage. Um, yeah, so that's we're going to need to tap that. I don't think they did anything over here or don't believe they hit the base. Looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we need to et. Totally not paying attention to that. Um, so let's grab three of these, and let's grab mm, seven of these, eat five, see how far up that gets us. These blueberries are quite nutritious in this game, more than you, more than I would have thought they were. All right, let's grab a carrot too. Let's turn you... Oh, you're already turned off. Okay, you need some fertilizer. Yeah, I think that's probably where we want that. If we pushed it further out... I see, I'm, I'm not sure if our head would clear that gap, so... All right, anyway, what were we doing? We were trying to put this guy down. So let's press end, not delete. And I wanted to put it right up. Uh, there? Yeah, I think so. The stairs don't do not quite line up with that, but we might be able to fix that once we get up there. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. We got that going. And then we want to grab these by pressing end, not delete. <laughs> I know, I sound like a broken record, don't I? Uh, and then we want to just pop you in, in here. Let's pull you back a little bit. Like that? Uh, I think so. No, it's not quite lined up. We need to move you over just a little more. Yes, I'm pressing in, not delete. Yeah, let's try this again. Yeah, see, now you're too far over this way. Come on, dude. All right. Yeah, I think that's probably about as good as it's going to get. I don't like it, but... Oh, why can't I get up there? Oh, the stone... Oh no. Yeah, the stones in right there. I wasn't wasn't even noticing that. Well, damn it. Do we just make stairs then? I mean, you make a bunch of of these and just run them along the wall. You know, from that end up to there. That, that might be what we have to do. This guy's back. I don't think so. Oh, there's a crate. I think they're just hitting or shooting at animals. I was going to grab this crate too. Let's do it. Let's go get that other one.
So yeah, I'm thinking maybe what we need to do here is make the foundation stairs and just run them along the wall, but man, I don't know if that's going to work so well. <sighs> See, the problem with these is they're, I don't think they're going to span the whole length of the wall. Yeah, I see they're not. I don't think that's going to work very well either. Yeah, we can't we can't get up there because of this the cliff face. So maybe oh shit, maybe doing it on the outside was the right move. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys. Um I gotta think about this, and I think I'm gonna wrap up the episode here and think about it, and when we come back in the next episode, you will see what my, my solution was. But ultimately, you know, whether we do it on the outside or the inside, um, you know, we have to be able to get up there, and then we're gonna build this platform out a ways. I don't know if this game has SI or not. Um, we're not gonna build it out, like, so far that it looks like, what the hell, but you know, we'll build it out to maybe three more foundations. And then up there we're gonna we're gonna put our garden plots and our solar panels and probably our windmills. That's the plan. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.